welcome to um, our YouTube channel. I'm Tar from Morrison Sons and in this series of videos we're going to be introducing you to the Manos del Uruguay range. Also we'll be putting together videos to give you an understanding of all the yarns we have in our store that will be able to help you choose um, the appropriate yarn for your garments and projects. Manos del Uruguay is a fair trade company that was founded to give Uruguay's rural women jobs not just as an income but also as an opportunity to personally develop and gain independence, keeping their roots and traditions while being close to their community and families. Every yarn has a tag with the artesian signature and the name of the village where the cooperative is located to remind that behind each product there is a woman and a story. Manos del Uruguay has a social aim and are a non-profit organisation. Manos yarns are beautiful, ethical and sustainable. They are handmade products using natural fibres and locally produced wool and all the yarns are hand dyed. No two skeins are the same. Each one is unique, keeping the traditional hand spinning skills alive. Today I'm going to be um, letting you know about Fino, which um, composition is 70% wool, 30% um, silk. So having that little bit of silk makes it a lot warmer, but also very beautiful against the skin and very luxurious. The silk just gives it a tiny bit of a sheen, so it's beautiful. Um, beautiful for shawls and wraps. It is um, four ply fingering weight. It's 100 gram and it has um, 450 meters so I you know quite easily two hanks will give you a beautiful shawl. Um, needle size is between three and three and a half but it really just depends on what your pattern's asking for. Um, the Fino collection of colors comes in a bold which is sort of just a, a, a fairly even color then you have the um, semi bold which is just a few shadings going through the yarn and then you have the variegated which is just quite a lot of different colorways all mixed in together so it gives you a really beautiful vibrant um, yarn that if you want something quite um, striking it's wonderful to use uh, it is also very um, the colors are quite vibrant so um, it makes for stunning colorways and they mix and match beautifully they've been designed for you to mix and match really well it does tend to be used um, for shawls shawls and cowls um, anything that you've got a lacy pattern that you want to use also looks quite stunning on there um, for ideas of patterns there is um, Ravelry, if you look up the Ravelry range um, and you click onto yarns, you type in Fino Manos, you'll see um, what people have done in the projects and what they've used and it'll take you to the patterns. Also, uh, Fairmont Fibres has um, some fantastic uh, free patterns and also some patterns that you can purchase with some lovely ideas too. Um, I'd just like to show you a couple of things that we've got patterns for in our, on our website. This beautiful, um, I'd call it a scarf, it's called a Pico scarf. Very easy to do, it uses one hank in total. Um, looks beautiful, but the stitching and the pattern's quite easy to do. So I would say probably a, a beginner could quite, hand, um, quite easily handle this pattern. And then we also have a pattern that we've sort of just changed it a bit, but it um, lends itself well to just learning how to use lace and we've just done it in sort of a lacy pattern and again that's available um, if you click onto the links below you'll see the patterns for these two two designs on our on our website just to let you know that um, with washing this fiber because of the silk ideally it should be hand wash only um, possibly dry clean just be just a bit careful with it and also when you're drying it um, make sure it's in the shade and also when you're knitting with it, um, just to get that lovely even finish, sometimes it's recommended that you might use two rows of one ball and two rows of the other, just so it blends the yarn better. Being um, kettle, you know, being hand dyed, sometimes each skein can be quite different in tone. We hope you enjoyed um, and found these videos helpful. So please don't forget to subscribe and like, and if you want to add any comments, if you have any queries, please don't hesitate to contact us. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next videos. Meanwhile, happy crafting. Click the link to the next Manos Yarn Review or click the other box to go to our channel for more creative content.